Kentucky Blue was a top 10 team in 2018. Will they have enough firepower to repeat? Position previews next on Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We got uh, Kevin McGuffey on the line talking Kentucky football. We're marching through every team across the country, as many as we can possibly get to. That's Ohio State and Penn State, Georgia, Kentucky, Auburn, LSU, Ole Miss, Alabama, Clemson, Miami, Florida State, Oklahoma, and I'll keep going the number of teams that we've hit thus far, and we will charge on through with our position previews as we get you set for August. Uh, help us build the channel by grabbing the Amazon link in the description section below. Just do your regular shopping right there on Amazon. Use our link, and uh, please join me at uh, Patreon. Uh, for our college football community there as uh, I respond to your viewer comments. And also you get the opportunity to come on and talk to me about college football live. All right, Benny Snell, he will uh, forever be um, entrenched in uh, Kentucky football lore based on his productivity, his uh, class, uh, just being a workhorse and being a warrior out there on the football field, not a term that I use lightly. Uh, obviously, we're speaking about a football context of that term and just an amazing career. Uh, Kevin, he is going to be, as one guy, probably irreplaceable. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. Um, he, he did so many, you know, so, so many things over these last three years and, you know, the whole time. You know, all-time leading rusher at Kentucky only took him three years to do it. Um, all-time leader in touchdowns, third, actually third in the, I think he finished third in the SEC in history in touchdowns. I think behind Tim Tebow, I believe it was. I want to say Herschel Walker was was the, was the other two guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, you you can't you you can't replace what Snell did. I mean, are you you know you you just have to find. You know, nobody's going to come in and do, I don't think, what, what Snell did, especially in this last couple of years. But, you know, Kentucky is not hurting at all in, in, in the running back position. In fact, I think, um, you know, they have they have four guys who will probably – you will see a lot of action. A, A.J. Rose is going to be the starter coming out of, um, you know, coming out of spring practice. He ran for 4 and 42 yards last year and had a 100-yard game. Um, against Louisville, you know, in the big the big blowout that they had at the end of the season, the battle for the Governor's Cup. Um, you know, he's going to be your starter. Um, right behind him were two other guys, Cavassier Smoke. Um, he was he put on he was one of the more impressive players in the um, in the spring game this year. Uh, another guy, Chris Rodriguez, also has done uh, done some done some really good things. It, those you know those three guys they could be almost a running back by committee. And then a fourth guy that, that we talked about um, back on signing day is a uh, Travis Tisdale, um, four-star player that they got out of um, out of Georgia. He's um, you know with with the new rules now where you can play you know four games as a freshman. You know I would expect to see Tisdale out there doing some really good things. Also, he's um, possibly going to be on uh, special teams, um, maybe running back kicks, you know things like that. So um, you know you're not probably going to get between all those guys, you may get what Benny Snell, you know, the same kind of production that Benny Snell had, you know, la you know, last year. It may take those three guys, or even the four guys. But like I said, you know, Kentucky, they they feel the coaching staff feels really, really good, you know, about these guys, uh, you know, especially Rose, and then like I said, Smoke and Rodriguez and, and Tisdale. Like I said, he's a kind of like Ahmad Wagner. He's kind of a sleeper guy to watch out for. He may only play in four, you know, three or four games under those new rules that they have, but still. I expect, um, you know, he's probably going to be your running back of the future there at Kentucky. Yeah, so Kevin, I'll refer to some notes here that I took because I was asked to do a Kentucky running backs preview that uh, won't be nearly as good as what uh, you have produced here for us, <laughs> but uh, I did my best. Okay. Uh, you mentioned Tisdale as a freshman. Uh, yeah, it seems as though uh, if he's able to get on the field uh, early in his career, that he's going to provide Kentucky with something that they haven't had in recent years, and certainly with Benny Snell being the focus, and that's kind of a game-changer guy that can really just hit the seam and bam, go. Uh, that is a big-time home run threat. Uh, he considered Nebraska Ole Miss and Penn State, so Kentucky lured him away from some major powers there. Uh, 37th rated running back out of Valdosta, Georgia, and uh, 1,900 yards, 21 touchdowns as a senior, and ran for 413 yards in their rivalry game and six mm -hmm. touchdowns. 
Um, yeah, AJ Rose uh, out of Cleveland. Uh, when he gave uh, Benny Snell a rest, uh, he certainly was impressive. 104 yards against Central Michigan, 112 against Louisville. You mentioned in the rivalry game against Louisville on only 10 attempts. And uh, what uh, in, in reviewing some of the, the video and knowing that I watched this game in particular, uh, it was just impressive just in nine carries against the Mississippi State defense that was one of the best mm -hmm. sevens in college football that he ran for 47 yards in that game. Some tough yardage against a very, very good defense. And uh, you mentioned Rodriguez and Smoke, uh, both redshirt freshmen, getting their first action coming up uh, this season. Should be an interesting crew. And instead of relying on one guy, it's looking like it's Rose primarily, but um, yeah. a, a complement of backs to keep Rose fresh. Yeah, no, ex exactly. Like I said, they feel you know they feel that any of those four guys can do can do can get in there and, and do the job. You know, talking about Smoke, he's kind of you know talking about the home run hitter kind of thing. He had a a very, uh, very, very impressive went for an 87 yard touchdown in the spring, the spring game this year. And um, just, you know, basically he was through the line of scrimmage and then he was gone. Like, I don't think he was even touched. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, you know, we're, we're Kentucky fans, you know, we were used to, you know, Benny, you know, Benny didn't run around you. He ran over you, you know, that, that was just, that's what his game was. And AJ Rose can give you that as well, but, um, like I said, with Smoke, um, he's going to be one of those guys who just outrun you. You know, if he gets to the corner, you know, 50, 50 60 yard, you know, run easily. So, and I, and like I said, then, you know, Rodriguez is more of a bruiser um, along the lines of the Benny Snell. And then, like I said, Tisdale, you know, the coaching staff were really excited about getting him, and, and as well they should, because like I said, I think event going forward, you know, maybe this time next year, you know, he might be, he could be the guy. So, in the backfield. All right, everyone, we encourage you to join Kevin and the rest of the staff there. Last word on college football. You got Tony Syracuse, Lauren Beasley, uh, Jason Ray, and a, a cast of thousands there that do a fine job coming on here to talk college football. Uh, Kevin, what's the, the latest post that you have there? Well, right now we're still working through the um, this the, um, the Kentucky, this tournament bracket thing that I've been doing to find out Kentucky's greatest, you know, football football win. We we started kind of an NCAA thing with thirty two game or thirty two games and split them up into eight brackets each, or excuse me, four brackets named after you know four of Kentucky's coaches like Rich. We have the Bear Bryant bracket, Mark Stoops, Rich Brooks, Jerry Claiborne. So we're about to hit the Sweet Sixteen now. So it's starting to get. Uh, it's it's getting pretty interesting. Like I said, we've got a lot of good, got a look, lot of good response on it, and I think hopefully as we get closer to the end, um, you know, we'll get even more, even more response. You know, there's been a few games that have, you know, games that I thought would win that, you know, the the fans, you know, the wonderful fans out there, you know, they went the other way. So it, you know, but that that's that's part of it when you you know open it up to a you know opinion what you think is a great game or remembers a great game is something that somebody else you know, may not. And then in addition to doing that, once we hit, you know, we'll get closer to the uh, the season, we'll start doing, you know, previews, you know, kind of like we're doing now, like previews, you know, of each position and then, you know, kind of an overview of how I think the season, you know, the season will go, you know, Kentucky shooting for fourth straight bowl game, which would be only the second time in um, school history. Um, you know, from 2006 to 2009, they went to four games, under Rich Brooks and they went to fifth game with under Joe Phillips in his first year. So, you know, if Kentucky can get to that six wins, which I think they will, I, I think, you know, seven, eight wins, especially with the schedule should be, you know, I, I think eight and four would be a good, you know, some people may think it's a little high, but I think, you know, with the schedule and with, with the players they have coming back, that it's, it's a definite, a definite possibility. But yeah, like I said, we're doing the, uh, the, the greatest games uh, tournament. And then like I said, then we'll just start hitting the, um, getting the uh the stuff preview in the season all right kevin appreciate you stopping by we will uh have you back to uh review the rest of the squad all right thank you mark i appreciate it as always